straight up to the sky. Yours is straight up to the ceiling. Good, she's raising her shoulders off of the ab blaster. She's isolating the area of her abs that we want to work. You really feel the contraction right here. Right, yeah, you might want to put your hand, place your hands on your abs to feel it contract when you come up. Breathing on the way up, inhaling on the way down. Good, four more. Abs is a great area because you can work abs every day. It's a very large muscle. It's not a couple muscles, it's a very large muscle. I, I do work my abs every day because I'm really concentrated on this area. I haven't forgotten you, <laughs> and I haven't forgotten you. I just want you to get used to this position because this is the basic beginner ab crunch. Is that it? Can I, can I stop now? You can stop and release your knees. What you want to do is sit up, and you want to contract a movement. Chin. This just gives you a little extra support behind your neck. With your hands across your chest, it's a little more beginner. But I find I like to do it with my hands behind my neck because I need a little extra support on my neck. I'm not actually pulling up on my neck with my hands. I just have my fingers resting with my head. I'm still looking up like a string is pulling my nose straight That's up That's exactly the sky. what I was going to say. Thank you. She's so good. I like this. And lift it. You want to keep your ab wraps about 10. Really bent and one knee is just brought into your chest just like that. Good. That's what I want. This knee is soft. Don't strain it. And same breathing pattern as Denise told you. Nice. Take a nice deep breath. Breathe in. And exhale. Good. We want to release.